All right, guys. Anthony's going to rip the floor out of this. It's all rotten at the back. Just tread on that back bit there, mate. Show them how rotten it is. Just, ah, uh, just there. Try that. Yeah, it's all gone. Try the other side. It's real bad. Well, see, she's buggered. Anyway, we've got to pull the floor out. Anyway, we've got to rip the fuel tank out. Also, all right. Anthony, pull all that out. <coughs> All right, guys, we're just cutting the floor out for the boat. We've already done one sheet sitting in there just at the moment. And we'll just come around here. We've got the other sheet here all marked out. We just use the old floor as a template. All right, you can see that. All right, we're just using a jigsaw to do it with. Just kick everything out of the road while I'm here. This is all on the go, boys. Whoop. Okay. Just over here on this. Cutting that. All right. Do, we've got to cut in on an angle so I've got to basically that way so we're just gonna to have to reset the jigsaw up so basically we're just cutting it on a 45 that way that's how the old floor was cut out so we'll just do the same on this one now we're gonna make sure we don't hit the table I'll just move this camera back. Put a brace under it. did over here there's the old floor we just cut all the carpet away so we had the exact exact measurements marked it all out all right then we just got a couple of, cut a couple other little pieces out get a hole saw and drill a hole for the seat post
There you go guys, that's the two main floor pieces cut out, we're going to actually uh, seal all this with resin. Are you going to drill the hole for this now? Nah, we'll just see how it all sits in the boat first. Alright, we're just going to do a bit of fitting up the boat. Alright, put the seat holes through. Just doing it. Put the seal it. Basically, this is just straight resin, fiberglass resin. Anyone's got any questions why I'm using resin? Any boat filter while I'm using it, it will be the best. And watch yourself, mate, just stand back. You're going to don't want to get this on you. You want that to fall on you. No, that's okay, it's not bad on that. Yeah. So just put a nice seal on this. Fiberglass boat, well, you'd be putting a fiberglass with it. Um, come back in. We've got one outside and one inside, guys. Yeah. Just make sure there's no lumps. Do the edges. Do the edges. There's a bit of a lump there. Yeah. underneath that floor tomorrow. All right guys we just finished put some sealer on that. We've used just straight fiberglass resin. Mate that'll seal that for many many years. That's all you need. I mean if you fiberglassed over it it'd be tough as but you don't need to because we're going to carpet it. You could actually fiberglass all this up and just have a straight fiberglass floor in the boat if you wanted to. But we're going to recarpet it the same as what it was originally. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. All right, guys, we're going to um, we're going to do the um, put some carpet on this. Oh, we start. We're spraying it on the adhesive. Put a 
sort of on the first one I did, I measured it, but you don't really need to, you can just do it as you go. So now we just spray the carpet up. start and I'll spin the camera around and you can watch me go that way. Just this first bit getting it started. I sort of do sections. Yeah. You know, and just keep rolling it out. But I've marked this. I've laid it out and got it all even and marked it. So when I put it put this first bit on here, it's square so it doesn't roll off crooked. I hope. That's the plan. Just got to let this go off. Takes a couple of minutes. I've already done one just while it's drying. I'll bring you over here and I've got that one in the boat I did yesterday. That's ready to go. The front we haven't done because they weren't, those timbers weren't rotten, they were out of the weather. It was all this big back section was all all the timber had rotted out even though it was covered up it's pr probably the area where you're fishing and that with all the water and anyway we'll come back over here let me just let that go tacky give it a couple of minutes and we'll come over and get it started all right Grab the other side for a second, Anthony. Yeah. Bring it up. Yeah. Roll. Actually, just grab that and roll it. Right? Yeah. Up like that. Yeah. Bring it round here. It's good with two people. I did this on my own yesterday. Yeah. Right, see, now we get the line. How's that? Get the line pretty spot on. Pretty straight. Easy for you to sit stuff. Looks pretty straight. Yeah. You could come down a fraction on that side. Got it? Yeah, just straight everywhere else, but your end was straight, this end was out of fraction. As long as this line's, yeah, that's pretty good. that yeah, line's that's straight good. and that gets you going. That's See? Alright, all you do is press down, don't go too far. Right, we're already coming up on the first bit. Now, I just might move the camera around, might give, it, give them a look at what we're doing. Right. I'll put it here, I think. That way they can see us coming down the... All right. Use that spray. All right, I'll probably come to here next. Sort of pick your area. Buy this glue and use it in a spray gun. If you stuff up, you kind of bugger the spray gun up too. Right, so we've got glue to about there. Once you get a little bit more done, then you can roll this out back this way flat, like this. And we've just put that glue to about there. This in my pocket. Okay. Huh?
you spray the edges at all? Or? I do that when I roll it over. Yesterday to help me. Just let the old bloke go and work on his own. You need another can or he's yeah, shake one up. Yeah, that's right. All this is guys. Stick a bond, spray fix. It's just a high strength contact adhesive. I'll get a little bit more out of this on the flat. I'll do the edges while it's sitting up. Give me that and I'll run shaking. Oh, just slowly work up. Oh, that, with the resin on that, that shouldn't rock for a long, long time. Because yeah? when you hose the boat out, yeah. and you've got all that fresh water getting into the timber, yeah. the laminates the glue, but also causes dry rot yeah. in the timber. If you hose that out with salt water, it wouldn't rock. Yeah. You don't get the dry rot, so yeah, you can't. Dry rot from fresh water. No. Well, some blokes, that's all they do to find their boats because they're on the water. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. If you're on a moor, if you're on a mooring, you've got no fresh water unless you've got fresh water tanks. Alright, there we go. Look at that. No, no, I'll flip it over now. Yeah. It'll be a bit easier with you here. I flipped it over on my own yesterday. Okay. Just grab it like that. Don't worry about the camera. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just squeeze that in for a sec. Yeah. Pick it up. Right up. That's it. Now what we've got to do, right.
It's only got half an hour. Oh, might be just here. Okay. Got it? Bring the camera in a bit closer. Right. Just bring that up slow. And then bring it over. All I can do here, where's that Stanley knife? You can just you're going to cut that with the scissors or just... That's that. I'm no expert at this, guys. Just move this camera back again. And down there, I'll just work this next edge. All right, guys. We've actually made the, these front floors a little longer so they sit on this beam better because this is why the floor was collapsing before. It was just barely sitting on the beam and wasn't helping it. So we've welded in these extra uh, uh, angles to support the back floor when we put it in, which we've just resin, we're getting it ready to carpet. We've had these in, but we've just popped them back out to get the other ones in and out. So we're nearly ready to put it all back together with the new flooring. I've put that bit of timber in there because this floor was hitting the sender. It's broken the wires once before, so that'll just give it a little bit of protection and support so the floor doesn't push down onto it. All right, guys, we've fitted the floor in. It's all done now. Um, we also did the back three panels across the back there 
you can pull them out individually so you can actually get to the uh, bilge pump and, and some of the other areas. All right, just like to say thanks for watching the video. If you um, if you like it, give us a thumbs up. Also hit the subscribe button if you like the channel. We'll be doing a bit more fishing soon, I hope. So anyway, thanks for watching. Cheers, guys. See you later. Bye.